here. Uh, my name is Nick Smith. Uh, I'm an engineer at Marmalade. Um, I work quite a lot with um, different uh, partners that we do integrations with and also with uh, games companies using us to make games. So I have quite a lot of sort of knowledge of both what we do SDK wise and what users are using us to do. Um, you've heard the sort of nice bits about money. I'm just going to go through the, the dull techie bits for a few slides. Um, so uh, one thing that's worth uh, mentioning to start off with is that there's lots of different integrations out there for Marmalade. Some of them are sort of untested things that users have made. Some of them are things that we put through our own QA um, to, to test before supplying them. Um, Fortumo is an example of a, a featured partner. So basically, we're bundling the uh, Fortumo extension for Android with Marmalade SDK and also actively encouraging users to use it. So in order to get uh, Fortumo up and running, you just have to download the latest version of the SDK um, and it's already there out of the box. Um, the APIs are very similar to uh, existing uh, sort of other billing APIs you might have seen. So things like the iOS and uh, uh, Google Play Store and Amazon. Uh, notably, the Fortuma one is is actually pretty simple. You basically just have to add the uh, library in, uh, set up your app secrets and IDs, and call buy, and then respond to the payment. Uh, things you need to do to get started is you need to set up a Fortuma account and set up some uh, billing items, which are called services for Fortuma, and then just integrate the API into your code. If you've uh, got an app or a game ready to go, and you've already got a uh, billing logic in there for other platforms, then it's pretty easy to uh, switch Fortuno into that. Um, and I'm going to hopefully get some screen sharing going in a minute and just show a simple, uh, very, very simple application and how Fortuno code would be added into it. So uh, one thing to start with is uh, if you go to our website to download the SDK and then go to our docs page, there's uh, an integrations page for Fortumo, um, which has a link for signing up. So you can literally click that. It'll take you straight to the page with um, the uh, the bit where you can sign up as a new user and put in the Marmalade 500 uh, promo code. Um, and once you set up, it'll take you straight to the uh, service creation screen. So you can straight away set up uh, a new service to, to pay for in your app. Uh, one thing worth noting that um, a service uh, in Fortumo is basically an item. So uh, you can set it up as a, a single item or virtual credits, and that's basically the same as sort of consumable versus non-consumable uh, products in other stores. Um, and if you want to have multiple uh, products, just set up more services. Uh, the services are just referred to by uh, an ID and uh, a name. So it's all very straightforward. There's a dashboard on the website. Uh, it lists all the services you've created. Um, once you click the uh, service name, it lists the ID and the app secrets underneath. Um, there's also at the top there you can see uh, tabs for tracking your revenue and transactions uh, and a payouts button. So at some point, you're going to want to configure um, how you get the money out of the service. So basically, it just stacks up like an account, and then you can set it to pay you back through various services, including PayPal and uh, credit card transactions and uh, I think straight uh, payments from uh, a bank account as well. So to get started with Fortumo and Marmalade, download the latest SDK. Fortumo has been bundled in Marmalade since version 7, um, but we're on 7.1 at the moment, so I would recommend upgrading. Inside the SDK, there is a folder of extensions, and Fortumo is right there on the root there. So um, to add Fortumo to an application, you basically just have to do a sub-project Fortumo. Uh, as I said earlier, the documentation and links to Fortumo are all up on our website. Uh, there's the link there to the uh, docs page for in-app purchases, uh, which lists Fortumo and some other billing services. But Fortumo is up at the front as the uh, featured partner. Uh, you have to sign up as a Fortumo user by the link there, as I said. Um, and then one other thing you might need to set up is uh, a web server to handle receipt verification. I'm not going to cover that at all today. but um, the same as with things like the iTunes store, uh, if you want to actually check that um, transactions have gone through, then you can set up uh, a web server to talk to the Fortumo server. Um, basically, when a user makes a purchase, uh, the Fortumo server will send a GET request to your server, and then you can then interact between the server and your game just to, to check that and possibly deliver content to the game as well if you want to send extra data. Uh, we've just sort of been through the uh, setting up a product account. But um, one nice thing is basically once you're on the Fortuna website, if you click uh, at the bottom, there's a developer button um, and it's got different guides for different integrations. There's a Marmalade guide and that will lead you through everything, including setting up the purchases on the website, 
uh, in adding the APIs into your game and then how to respond to uh, requests from the server for receipts. Uh, it's all very, very simple. Uh, as I said, each service is a single product. Uh, set up multiple services if you need more than one product. Um, and as we saw earlier, once set up, the main screen will show you all the different IDs and secrets for the app. So just to show you how simple this is, uh, this is the in-app uh, purchases thing on the website. Click sign up now, takes you to the Fujimo website. If you sign up here, uh, it's basically fill in email address, password, the invitation code, uh, and it'll create an account instantly. I'll just log in with one that I had earlier. And uh, basically, to create a service, just hit the Create New Service button, set up your payout through this screen here. Uh, and I made a service earlier. I've got a couple of users set up for, for myself here. Uh, this is a test service, but you can see that's where you would get the IDs for. Um, I configured it for a couple of different countries, uh, UK and Portugal. Uh, and once you're ready to go, just hit go live. If you uh, pop back here at the bottom, there's a developers button here and clicking this will take you straight to the different guides. So Marmalade guide here will walk you straight through how to do everything. Set up exactly what we've just been through for setting uh, and then making a payment walks you through how to set up the APIs in your app. And finally, you get receipt verification, which is how to set up your server. So whether you're using Marmalade or just plain Android or any other uh, integration, this is exactly the same thing. It's just a web server interaction with the Ultimo, uh service. So uh, to show you that in a, in a Marmalade app, um, I'm just going to pop open the Marmalade Hub. So this is the regular uh, interface for Marmalade, GUI project manager. Um, you can use the C++ app, and I just set up a very simple uh, My Purchase app earlier. So uh, if I open this up in the ID, it's just a very simple C++ app that renders a button that you can press to make a purchase. Nothing very exciting at all, just a bit of rendering code, an update loop, and a, a button I've created. To add Fortumo into uh, this app, because Fortumo ships with the SDK, I just have to add Fortumo as a sub-project. Uh, hit rebuild, F7 here, uh, and it'll automatically pick up that I'm trying to pull in a new project in. If you go into extensions, you can see Fortumo. This has got the header file with all the different APIs that you can use. Uh, and then back in the app code, in order to pull in Fortumo, you just have to include a regular C header. So for Android, all of the all of the um, library integration and all that kind of stuff has all been done for you. You don't actually have to touch any of the manifest settings or anything like that. Basically, include the header, use the API code, and you're off. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit here and just copy some code out I wrote earlier. So uh, a sensible thing to do is uh, you might want to check if Fortimo is available. If you're writing an app that's going to run on uh, lots of different platforms where uh, the Fortimo billing service may or may not be available, then it's just a simple query of uh, Fortimo available, which I'm going to call in the start of my app here. Uh, and then a useful feature is uh, a logging service basically some debug information that you can do. So drop that in the start if I want to, and I would turn that on and off depending on whether I was doing a debug build. And uh, just for this app, I put in a little bit of a bit of printing for uh, whether it's found the uh, extension or not. 
Uh, and then to actually use for G mode, so one thing you're going to want is uh, a callback. So like uh, many Marmalade integrations like this and most billing integrations, uh, basically you just have to set up a callback function that gets called whenever uh, the billing service responds to your app. So basically if you ask to make a purchase at some point, it will come back with a response. Uh, so response states are all very, very obvious. So pending is where you it started uh, making the payment, but it hasn't finished. Um, build is the success one and failed is the failed one. And basically you're just waiting for this to come through. Uh, here's a few sort of useful examples of uh, how you might deal with the the billing not completing. So you might want to fall back onto another surface or uh, you might want to get the app to provide the data straight away, but then block the user later on, or you might want to uh, know that it's pending and just get the app to carry on something else and then check again for the payment later. So all pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, and then the main bit, of course, is actually making a request for a payment. So uh, in my little simple example here, I've got uh, an event that happens when a button gets pressed. Uh, and basically, you just uh, create a, a request here. So basically an object that represents the payment create with this function here. Uh, and then you just set up the object based on your uh, strings from the store. So if I switch back to dashboard uh, and go and see my product uh, service that I created earlier. Uh, you can see these things are pretty obvious. So service ID, uh, this one is just some string to display. So for example, buy my product. Let's see if I can spell properly. Uh, the in-application secret. And then the name of the product. So, uh, and that is basically it. So integration is super simple. Um, as I said, I'm not going to cover setting up a server if you want to deliver any data to your app or to have a, a verification of receipts. Um, but there's another function you would call for doing receipt verification with your own server. Um, and that's basically it. To do a build for Android, just switch to ARM for Android, hit build, and then use our deploy tool to that's surprising. I'm not very good usually at typing code out and building first time. Um, but then basically, same thing as you would a deploy tool, you would just pick the platform like Andrew, Android here, uh, set up a release build and build and package and get an APK uh, to ship off to your various different stores.